what inspired you to choose mit and how has your experience been so far uh i mean i, I chose mit because um i was interested in math in high school um i was also interested in actually uh, neuroscience at the time so those are my interests and that's pretty much why i just applied to mit my driving force to applying to mit was my physics teacher um he's the one who recommended that i apply it's been pretty good so far i think the one thing the one thing mit does really well is the skills they teach you so whatever discipline you choose you know you will learn it pretty well um regardless of where you start also the friends I'm, you do along the way also could, can you give me a brief like introduction of who you are or something what do you introduction of of like uh, who you are um yeah please introduce yourself me yes okay so i have done my graduation in may 2023 so in computer science i did i am preparing for masters entrance exam in india so can you describe a typical day in the life of mit student sorry what can you describe a typical day in the life of an mit student oh uh, well i mean it varies depending on who you are but usually the first thing is your classes you probably wake up and realize that you're a bit late for class so you'll just put on something and start running to class um there's a lot of breaks between classes so at least for me usually I'll, you know i'll grab a bite um uh, i'll go pray or something between classes um after classes it's either it's usually go eat dinner and then either finish a pizza finish something you have to work um or some later on i usually just hanging out with friends um and then later in that in the night that's when you really do pizzas <laughs> most people are up doing pizzas at night like very very late and then your sleep schedule gets destroyed so mit is known for its rigorous academics how do you manage your workload and balance it with extracurricular activities and personal life uh I, I'm not like the right person to ask for like a, a schedule or a routine because I, I don't have one. Um, for most of the time at MIT, I just did whatever I had to, whenever I needed to, and when I felt like I could do it. Um, in terms of academics, I mean, the pieces have to get done by a certain deadline, but when you actually start doing them and when you finish them, that's up to you. So there's a lot of freedom there. Um, extracurriculars. That one is an, that one like it's hard to balance with classes because you do want to be part of different communities and it is very important for your mental health also to have different communities on be part of different communities on campus and do different activities on campus. Um, but sometimes this will mean that you'll have to spend either less time sleeping or less time focusing on a class. So it is it is a bit of a trade off. It all depends also on like what are you trying to get out of MIT. Mm. Also, um, yeah, I, I have to yeah, show please. Yeah, yes, please go ahead. Yeah, I'm just not sure what this is for. So if you can just explain to me like what this interview is for or something. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Can you hear? 
I, I can hear you. Yeah. Oh, uh, your connection, I think, is, is not great. It will get hear me. Well, why don't we do this? Just message me whatever questions you have, um, and I can just answer you on text. Okay. Have a good day. One sec.